Space Funeral is a 2010 RPG Maker indie game created by the Catamites, and a personal favorite of mine. It centers around a depressed boy named Philip and a horse made out of severed legs named Leghorse, going on a quest to defeat the evil moon, who corrupted the land after realizing perfection is impossible. The game has an extremely unsettling visual style, even if the game itself is often less so. Philip looks very odd, and the houses are screaming faces. Every NPC is represented with a disturbing looking monster, and the game in general is visually disturbing. Not to mention the copious amounts of visual and described blood. The battles are fairly standard with one exception. Philip has a mystery skill which he can use once per battle and does all manner of things. Typically very funny. Examples include Philip singing poorly and everyone dying, the enemies giving up, Philip reciting a Bible verse, etc. They're very funny, but I didn't find myself using it too often. The game itself is ridiculously easy. I killed the final boss in like 5 hits. I'm not complaining, it's during the battles are definitely not the main focus, but it's definitely a drawback, especially if you have the Zorg Cannon. It's the most powerful item in the game and makes Philip or Leghorse deal copious amounts of damage every turn. The game's sense of humor is absolutely amazing. The game is definitely unsettling, but I definitely don't think it's a horror game. I taste a real comedy fits it much better. The various conversations include discussing weed with Dracula and being told about the town of Malice's very or many goods and criminals. The last thing I want to touch on in the original game is the music. None of it is original, but it's all fantastic. Most of it's from either the BBC or Radiophonic Workshop or Ruth White, and this game makes full use of them. Some of my favorite tracks include 181, Tamario, and My Mary. But what if you wanted more Space Funeral? Well, the fans delivered. First up is Space Funeral 2, which is a very short game made to get an interview. The plot is that after Moon died, an artist inspired by Moon named Cancer tried to purify the world again. It's fine. Not much to say, booking it to the end takes about 5 minutes. Next up, though, is Space Funeral The Legend of Earthbirth, which I really enjoy, though it's certainly different from the first two. It has a lot more blatant and blunt humor than the first two, and it's a lot less surreal, but I find it just as funny, if not more. The plot is that Philip and Lycoris were teleported to the land of Earthbirth, which is under siege by the evil forces of science. You must defeat him and restore blind faith to the world, and Dracula joins the party. Yay? The music of the game is interesting, to say the least. It features everything from BBC Radiophonic Workshop to Mario Party 6 to Cage the Elephant. It's incredibly confusing. You know what else is confusing? Space Funeral 4. Space Funeral 4 The Parmingulator is one of the weirdest games I've ever seen. The combat is laughable, the humor is definitely not, and the game has nothing to do with the original. It stars Fred and Fartbutt as they do something. I don't know. I got stuck and couldn't proceed. Don't play this one. But what about Space Funeral 5, Space Eulogy, Journey of Moon and Bubbazy? That's a mouthful. It was fine, I guess. But the games are getting further and further from the vibe of the original. Space Funeral 6, A Tale of Time, felt like more of a return to form to Space Funeral 3, and I'd hold it to around the same level as that game. The humor is decent, and the game doesn't feel like it's trying too hard to be funny. The creator also clearly has great musical taste, as there's everything from Whitewoods to Binding of Isaac music. There isn't yet a 7 or 8 that I haven't made, so I'll skip to Space Funeral 9 at Cardarnival. I'd say it's also quite good. The humor is a lot more cynical than the previous games, but that's fine by me since I really like cynical humor. The plot switches between a new character that's basically a prisoner of a circus, as well as a classic space funeral plot about Philip and Leghorse being stuck in a mafia city. I'd recommend it, it's pretty good. Space Funeral is hidden blood inside me, or at least I'm assuming it's Roman numeral 10, it might just be X. It's pretty good as well. The combat was notably more challenging than most of their space funeral games, although 9 was decently challenging. I still wouldn't say it was hard, but some of the later enemies were certainly punishing. But overall, it was very fun. Now, on to the other spin offs. Space Funeral Corpse March was decent. It's a pretty standard space funeral game, but I still enjoyed it. Space Funeral Detrimental Principle was also quite good. It felt pretty long for an SF game, but that might just be a temporal illusion. Not much else to say about it, honestly, but the battle sprites seem to have a sort of different art style compared to other SF games, which is pretty interesting. Space Funeral Redshift isn't even close to done, so it's like 5 minutes to beat, but it seems pretty good with the small amount that's there. Space Funeral Calypso was a pretty cool remake of the original SF with a neat new art style. 
alongside a few new tracks and a new inling, which I quite enjoyed. God, I'm running out of things to say about these. The Space Funeral of Rubies and Gold duology was pretty entertaining, with fun writing and neat locations. I also really enjoyed how they used the RTP in the beginning of each game. Check them out if you want. Space Funeral Burning Zodiac is pretty neat. Not much else I feel like saying about it, I'm really running out of interesting things to comment on. And that's it. Except, I made some objectively terrible fan games on my Game Jolt page, so play them if you want. They blow, though. What's the verdict? If you're not that into the game but still like it, check out the original trilogy. It's apparently canon, so it makes sense to play. But if you really liked the original, check out all of them. You'll get the full Space Funeral experience.